Welcome back. Well, we just cheated our way through um, the aptitude test. And because we were late, we have to clean the... Uh, uh, the Academy Crest. And even though it's quicker to go south, I'm actually gonna go north. Hey, some of our fellow cadets. I recognize them from class. As a small group of your brother ca cadets. Can we talk to them? Take off, Wilco! Oh, I see we're not very popular. Isn't that the guy we cheated from? No, ma no wonder he's uh, pissed at us. Hey, I know those two fellows. You can't look at them, though. It's Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi who are dueling. A pair of your cadet classmates are deeply engaged in conversation here. Do they want to talk to us? Go play in the airlock, Roger. Apparently not. You uh, might notice that we have an extra icon here, and this is actually the command icon. No smell and uh, taste in this game, unfortunately. And, well, th we can't use this now, but we'll need it later. Sure thing, Admiral, we'll get right on it. They don't appreciate being commanded by us. That's why I wanted to go north, because uh, you can only see the uh, two guys dueling if you come from... Uh, the South. Some more bright, shining faces of Starcon's elite cadet corps. He's the guy who walked into stuff. Get lost, Wilco. Nobody likes us. Anyway, we need to get into the janitorial closet here. No! Oh, that went well. Let's see, what do we have? Now look at what you've done. Quick, call a janitor. It's a scrubomatic floor cleaner with patented sit and spin cleaning action. Well, it seems that that would be what we need. You cram the scrubomatic into your seemingly bottomless pocket. Yes, we've already established Roger has a TARDIS in his pants. These bright orange safety cones can use to discourage foot traffic while cleaning large floor spaces. That's also something that could be useful. You cram the safety cones into your seemingly bottomless pocket. And then he automatically shuffles the rest back inside. Alright, now with the um, cleaning equipment in hand, we can go to the main rotunda. And clean it, and I happen to know that the main rotunda is this way. Isn't that an old Atari game? <laughs> They're playing there. <laughs> I'm not sure. It appears to be one of the nine moons of Nova. I'm sure that's a reference to something. Oh, can't look at this. It's a security clearance alpha beyond this point, so we can't go south. This computer monitor displays pertinent information. Whatever that is. This is the left side of a rotunda hallway. From here you can amble north to another hallway, stroll east to the bay hallways, or take the gravity lift to the floor of the main rotunda, which is where we actually want to go. Cool. I want to lift like that. This is the Academy Crest, and we're supposed to clean it. The Starcon Crest is dull and dingy. Looks like it could use a good scrubbing. Well, that's what we're here for. Now, first we need to put up the safety cones, otherwise people will keep walking into our way, making our life miserable. Also making it impossible to actually finish this puzzle successfully. Well, puzzle. I call it a puzzle. It's more sort of a dexterity test. Not a very difficult one, though. And sort of fun. Let's see how this thing works. How does this thing work? 
Yo! Okay, well basically you just want to scrub every tiny inch of this thing. That's not a, not a problem if you miss a tiny bit. I do think you are on a time limit, although it's <coughs> fairly reasonable. Well, you don't, don't take ridiculously long. You should be okay. Okay, now we just hit the center left. Yay! We made it! Hey, who's that? Oh, it's Quirk. As you can see, Ambassador Wankmeister, we run a very tight ship here at the Academy. This institution is the pride of the Star Confederation and one of the best of its kind in the known universe. It's nice to see our tax buckazoids aren't going completely to waste, Captain Quirk. Here we are, Miss Wankmeister. This is the main rotunda. It was dedicated on star date 09-2097.27. Ambassador? Excuse me, aren't you Roger Wilco, the man who foiled the Sarian some years back? She knows who we are! Sparkle. Suddenly it all comes rushing back. It's her. The woman from the holodisc in Space Quest 4. Now's your big chance, Roger. Say something clever and romantic. I'm sure that'll go well. Uh, uh, um, I mean, uh, yes. Way to sweep her back onto her feet, Rog. Nice to see you haven't lost your golden touch with women. That went well. Excuse me, uh, Ambassador, but we should be heading to the conference now. You're not at all what I expected, Wilco. See you around. Hold on a minute, Cadet. Looks like you missed a spot. Heh <laughs> heh. Uh, sir, you better watch your step. The floor's still really wet and just a little bit... Slippery. <laughs> nice rug, Quirk. Is that a toupee or a roadkill? Huh? You did that on purpose, Wilco. I'm placing you on double secret probation. One more screw up and your space cadet days are over. I don't think Quirk likes us. Well, the feeling's mutual. Well, we didn't quite make a very good first impression with our future wife, but at least we got to see uh, Quirk fall on his ass, which is always fun. Can I take the cones? You don't want to pick up the cones up. If there, you don't want to pick the cones up. The floor is still wet. As uh, Quirk just demonstrated. I guess we should put one of those things up with the uh, caution wet floor sign on it. Okay, well, uh, that's nice. Let's head back the way we came! Hey, another mouse. Or rat, or whatever it is. Going into the Great Master 2000. SAT scores. Gordon F. Phil. Einstein A. Phil. Wilco R. Huh. 
Huh? What was uh, that? Excuse me, Captain, you didn't raise your hand. Now, as I was saying, Ambassador Wankmeister, we are a fairly remote installation and I simply can't spare the ship to launch the kind of operation you suggest. I'm afraid you don't understand the potential ramifications of this problem, Admiral. If the sludge bandits continue to illegally dump toxic waste whenever and wherever they choose, the environmental consequences could be staggering. Entire planets could be devastated. Now there's an inconvenient truth. I think you overstate the issue, Ambassador. Even so, we have more than enough ships on patrol to put a stop to these sludge bandits, as you call them. Look, Ambassador, we have top-notch shift staff with the finest crews in the galaxy. Starcon accepts only the best and brightest for fleet training. Oh yeah? Then explain, Roger. You look, Rockhead. Illegal dumping is going on in this sector right under your polyweave... Our patrols have located dumping sites on four planets in the G6 quadrant alone. Hey, this is made from real hair. Uh, <clears throat> in any case, I'd like to hear more about these alleged dumping sites. Perhaps over dinner this evening? I have already transmitted the coordinates to Starcon Central Command, along with a list of suspected sites that we haven't been able to check out yet. Well then, that settles it. Captain Quirk, you shall go to these sites and investigate Ambassador Wenkmeister's allegations. Admiral, I'll be going along as an observer. I'm afraid that's impossible. Regulations strictly forbid civilian participation in military operations. Uh, Admiral, I think having the Ambassador along would be a good idea. I'm sure the two of us could develop a productive, working relationship. Admiral, may I remind you that I'm an official representative of the people of Quadrant G6 with full ambassadorial status, and as such, not subject to... Now, now, Ambassador, I'm sure Captain Quirk will do everything necessary to resolve the situation. There's no need for you to hinder him on his mission. This is my system, and my people were talking about here. I'm going on that ship, and that's all there is to it. Case closed. We're adjourned. Good day, gentlemen. Youch, that's one lady you do not want to cross. Oh, great. The savior of the universe in all his glory. Isn't there a mob somewhere with your name on it? Well, there's the second impression screwed up as well. Hey, one of the admirals fell asleep. Way to go, Rog. Another sterling performance. Yeah, I caught the jerk trying to sneak some answers off my test. Here he comes. This is awful. I totally biffed on my set test. I'll never make Captain now. That's too bad, Cadet Block. How'd you make it out, Roger? I haven't seen my score yet. The SAT scores for our class are posted on the bulletin board, Roger. I sure hope you made out better than I did. Okay, well, it seems the SAT scores are in, and we're also royally out of time, so we'll continue in the next video. See how Roger did.